Ah, oh, sorry. There he is. I'm not gonna kill like that. <laughs> oh, fuck, look at that. It's like a gun. Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and no, your eyes are not deceiving you. This map does look rather much like Dust 2, is it, from Counter-Strike, and that's because it is a map remake. Yes, this is Pavlov, another first-person tactical shooter in virtual reality for the HTC Vive. And a friend of mine, Vuvks, if I could pronounce his name right, reminded me of this game because I did actually have a look at this on the channel when it was in very, very early state. Let's come on, kind of come on a little bit now, and we've got custom maps available on the workshop. Exit, you cover left. Yes, you cover left. This is a slower rendition of Counter Strike. Everybody knows Counter Strike is like super fast and super quick. But you can actually get some tactics involved in this game if you tell each other that you're going to cover certain entrances, like I'm going to cover these doorways here. Go left, Mick. And this takes me way back. It's kind of like strange how the the universe moves because the very first game I played on the PC was Counter Strike in a games cafe in Spain. I picked up with a couple of my friends, and the fact that you could both be on screen and shoot each other for us was mind blowing. And we used to play this on LAN on laptops for many, many years, including being in the league and, and everything else. So my heart has always been with Counter Strike really from where it all started so the, the opportunity to jump in and play this in virtual reality really is mind blowing now onward is Probably this game's main competitor, and they are kind of slightly different. The, I think Onward is more of the military tactic side of it. This is more fun, but then again, as I mentioned, you can play this completely tactical. This is just one of the CSGO maps, as it was, or the Counter-Strike maps, but there, there are a whole host of maps available now for this on the workshop where there aren't currently as yet for Onward. So, one versus the other, who knows which is better. Both got the same amazing feel of being able to get into cover and being able to step out in your room, or physically move and look around a corner, is something, unless you experience it in VR, you're not really going to understand how that feels. It just feels fantastic. And the low-res graphics, you just kind of forget after a while because it really does feel like I'm holding that pistol in my hand. Coming around, he's coming around. What's that? Then, are they in the middle? Are they trigger? What the fuck? One for one. Yes. <laughs> I'll have some of that. Uh -huh. Come on, Mickey, do it. Come on. Come on. Go, oh. go. Uh -huh. So if you have the HTC Vive and you like games like Onward, really do give Pavlov a look at, because it seems to me that not a lot of people who've even got the Vive, when I say have you played Pavlov, have never even heard of it. Don't know why, because if you, as I mentioned, it is just like Onward. It's tactical, there are weapons, it feels like you're holding the weapons, the movement, you kind of get used to after a while. That motion sickness, I can play for an hour, maybe, and then I know I've had enough because my eyeballs are literally melting. But, give it a go, try it. I quite enjoy it, and I certainly will be doing some more videos if people want to see some of the maps and some of the other game modes. There are other game modes involved in here, such as hostages and other things like that, and there will be more coming, especially with the workshop. Lots of custom maps, so maybe that's something I can actually look at. I didn't actually have this map when we started playing, but like other PC games, it automatically downloads, for it, downloads it for you, and it was extremely quick. So this game is fantastic. Give it a look, give it a try. This is Pavlov 
on HTC Vive. Shot in the ass. What's new?